Hey guys, Alexei from Ace5 Studios, and today we're going to discuss customizing the 5J characters. You can apply this to any characters, really. This is not specifically for my characters, but I will be going over how to do it with my rigged characters that you can buy at my website at ace5studios.com forward slash 5J. If you want to get rid of these, or just go to the shop page, lots of stuff there. So let's begin. First, this is the file you're going to get when you download it. And there's two types of characters here. Um, basically, these characters like most of the ones that we have here, they actually have a, a lack of underlying mesh. <clears throat> so for example, if you look in here, um, like let's hide these shorts, you'll see we're missing the actual mesh there. That's because otherwise there's, when you're painting weights, sometimes there's intersections. And I thought this would just be a more convenient way. Same thing with these guys. If we hide the pants, there's no pants here. But these construction workers, if we hide the pants, you'll see there's a full body underneath. Whoops. So these last guy, these construction workers, I built them more recently. They actually have the body underneath and these guys are attached with surface deformers. Uh, whereas these guys here are painted on as skin weights. So these shorts will actually work if I go here and I delete the body, or I, like I can just turn off the mesh so it's not working. And you'll see that the, these guys will still work because they're actually painted onto the joints. But these guys here, if I select the mesh and uh, where is it? Mesh. There you go. And I turn off the skin. Now, when I move the legs, you'll see nothing moves, just the controllers because it's surface. Uh, it's a surface upon which basically sticks one mesh to another mesh. I have a tutorial on this if you want to have a look in more detail. Um, let me select the body here. So yeah, so I'm going to show you how to use a surface deformer to attach different clothes to a character. And for that, you're going to need this naked guy because he has his whole mesh there. So let's find this model here. Let's close him up. It's called John Body. Let's copy pin him and paste him into a new scene. And let's just go reset PSR to put him in the center. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick some clothes that we want to attach to him. And for the time being, we can go to layers and we can actually hide the controls. We don't need to see them. Now I have two models here, which we can attach. The first one will be, whoops, this uh, little female singlet. I thought it'd be a fun thing to stick on. As you can see, it has a very clean topology. It's very low poly. So let's see how that goes. Let's copy him, copy this into our new file here. Currently it's a bit too big, so we're gonna to have to scale it down so that it matches appropriately, approximately the size. And you're gonna see it's gonna to be too small for him. So how do we modify this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, you can either go to point mode. So here in point mode, and you can right click and go brush. And you can make this whatever size you want and then just drag it out until you start Maybe you want to select this guy first in object mode and then go shift C center axis two. So the axis is in the middle of him. And then in scale mode, you can maybe scale him out, scale it width wise. And basically using, let's go back to point mode right now. If we use the brush tool, you'll see that it only works on one side. So from the side, it's okay to use it to line it up, but you also have this, actually, this is working fine. There you go. You just, match it up and basically something like this. You can, you can also use in the mesh tools. There's also these brushes. You can use them. They have symmetrical options and stuff, but this is really pretty much all you need here. I pull them out a bit. Anyway, you can go into this and you can also select sample just this section so that it doesn't affect all the other points while you're moving it and until you get it to an acceptable place. So mm. still points here. Let's drag this guy out a bit. Okay, so we have our singlet on this guy. And now you can shift click here. And, I mean, click on this guy, click and hold and find the surface deformer and make sure it goes underneath this mesh. And then here we open this, we close this guy and we find the body mesh, the boy mesh. And in the surface deformer here, select it again. And see as a surface here, we want to drag this boy mesh into here. 
and click initialize. Now go back to our layers, turn our controllers, and there we go. We have it deforming. Now, as you see, kind of it lags behind the character. You see this kind of lagging. That's because it's important to make sure that this guy is below the rest of his stuff. It's below this mesh because the cinema first looks at the mesh where it is, and then it deforms the object. So now if we move it around, see now it moves nice and smooth. And this is basically what it is. Um, your success with this may vary depending on how tight the clothes is and also the topology. For example, if we, let's hide this guy, um, turn it off so it doesn't lag us. I also have um, this other one, but this guy, if we turn on the wireframe, is very dense. So models like this, like if you export straight from Marvelous Design or something, they won't work as well. You will need topologies. They will work to some extent. Let's just give it a try. So I copy and paste it here. We're gonna scale it down so it's, there you go. We're gonna shift C, center axis two, so that it's in the middle. We're gonna scale it out. We're gonna scale it out here. We're gonna move it down, oops. We're gonna move it down a bit. And then we're gonna go to our point mode and go right click and brush. And we're gonna brush it out a bit. Ugh. The reason I'm using female clothes is because I'm, using, I'm working on some clothes for my next character pack. So I have a bunch of female clothes available. So as you can see, it was a bit laggy to move there, but it's here. Now, if we do the same thing, let's drag to the bottom. We can actually just control drag the surface deformer here and just, oops, attributes here, surface deformer, initialize. It'll take a longer time to actually calculate this. Hopefully it won't crash. Yeah, see there you can see it's slowly coming along. Basically don't recommend doing this. At least use the decimator the decimator or the polygon reduction in Cinema 4D to bring it down to something decent. And then skin it. Because right now it'll skin, it'll initialize. Don't forget to turn it on here. And now if we select our control and move, you'll see it's very slow. It does actually deform, but it's got all these rips and stuff. It's not a good way to go. So you would really need to retopologize and make a low poly version of it. So that's it for the skinning of clothes. The next part I was asked about is, can you modify the shape of the head? And yes, you can. Um, you can just select the mesh. And here's this boy, boy mesh here. It, check if it has a pose morph tag. If it doesn't, you just right click and you go character tags or rigging tags in this version. And pose morph, you can also Press Shift C and go Pose Morph for this finder thing. And then here, type in points. I mean, sorry, don't type, press points. And now you have this pose, and you can make this head different or whatever, head small, large. And now you can just go to point mode. And as you can see, the head is selected, but you can select any part of it. You can select this jaw here. Actually, let's just deselect. The easiest way to select just the head is go into point mode, I mean, to polygon mode. Then go hold the V button, go select and loop selection. Oops. Yep, sorry, V, select, loop selection. And then select this part here, this ring here, and go V, select, fill selection. I use the shortcut keys usually. And now you have just the head. So now if you go to your brush tool, if you move stuff, it'll only affect your head, it won't affect this. And basically, as you saw, there you go, I just got myself a bigger jaw jaw or I can squash his head together like this. If you want, we can go here in head stuff and we can just hide the hair. But there you go. So we can make any shape head we want. We can scale. If we want, we can just scale it down and well, sometimes it kind of lags and you basically don't have a head. You can now in head stuff, you can put your own model. So for example, here, we don't have a head. We can also hide our, in our head stuff, we have face. We can hide that. And now if you want, you can make a sphere. Just drag it up and you can model this guy any way you want. There you go. Put him in a subdivision object and make sure that he's inside head stuff. And that's it. There you go. You got your own head stuck to this guy. So that's an easy way to modify it. Um, also, these guys, you can, so let's hide this guy again. 
So this, when you do this now, go to animate and you can actually now animate the change of the head by just dragging this guy around. You can do the same thing with the correction deformer. I got another tutorial about that, but basically, yeah, you got this head, so you can go edit. You can add multiple ones. You can add like blocky head and then in point mode of point mode. Um, that's, there you go. In point mode, just go MC for the brush or polygon mode. And let's just push this guy up, push these guys in. And there you go. Now you have a character with a square head. So yeah, you have all this freedom and the rig will still work. Um, how much of the other rig works? It's, for example, you can do the similar stuff. You can go pose morph, make another add pose and call this, for example, thicker legs. I'm often asked about how to, if I can, if you can reach the thickness and you can, but you will have varying degrees of success here. So in animate, we have thick legs. Let's go actually back to edit. Sorry. Make sure we're in the mesh mode, go to our polygons. And for example, we can UL for loop select and we can scale. Well, let's select these guys UF. So we can scale this, for example, just here, or maybe just here. It'll sometimes kind of snap back. I'm sure why that happens. It's cinema does it sometimes. So you can move this leg like this and it will hold like if you go to animate now you can scale, you can keyframe it in and it will hold, but there's a limit to what you can do. So see now you have this, so it's possible. Um, so you have some control over that, but obviously the more you push it, the more likely it'll break. So, you know, you can easily, for example, change something like a, so you can add a stomach or if you want to make it fat, um, stomach, uh, you can easily go to point and deselect it and just use the smear tool to just drag this. You can do this and it shouldn't, although you can't see the controllers now, so you might want to also go into your controllers and these guys and increase their radius a bit. Um, so that he shows up. There you go. And see that still works. You get some, you get some errors like going on like with the belly button. But you have this control and you can do this with the clothes on the characters as well. So in the other scene where you have the Johns combined, you can do the same thing with the clothes. You can just add this clothes. You can go polo here, you can go right click and character. Um, ring tags, pose morph, and you can go points and as well, you can just select points and you can scale them out and it'll still work. Um, yeah, so you have that control. You can modify stuff like this. Again, you can do this on any character. It doesn't matter if it's my characters or any other characters. I hope you like this. I hope you learned something. If you want to buy these guys, go to my website. Really appreciate the support. I also have a 5J Kids and I have a 5 Man and a whole bunch of other stuff. And stay safe. Have a good one. It's Athletic Safe from Ace5 Studios.